What up guys, my name is Kong and today I'm going to be talking about Phantom. Phantom is about a, a, a Russian submarine, I would say on the, I would say 1940s and 50s. Uh, aero submarine, uh, I think it's powered by diesel. And this is, you have a captain who uh, is reassigned to go out and sort of patrol and I think in in the Atlantic, in the Pacific, no, in the Atlantic, or the Pacific, actually the Pacific, I'm sorry, I believe it's the Pacific, don't quote me on that, but, so let's talk about what I did like about this movie, I like the fact that we get to really see, to my eye at least, like you get to see the, uh, how the uh, uh, the chain of command work, how the uh, how the captain um, how he operate, uh, and then how his second lieutenant how would he operate, and how every every individual part is is a piece is a part of the team, a part of the submarine, and you really get to see that every part have to work to get well together. Every part every part have to follow the order uh don't break the order because if you if order is if there's if there's a break i'm sorry it's a break in the command then life is at stake you know i thought that was really interesting to see and then uh, there's uh you know you get to see very the uh the, the term terminology of you know with diving uh, right or left, right or tight, they do their timing and they, they uh, deploy uh, what you say decoys and um, uh, maneuvers. It's really interesting. I wish I'll get to the do the con, but those are the things I like. I, and I also like the uh, the the uncertainty. You don't know what's going on. You have this sort of like pre KGB or or a section of the KGB, and they're on this ship and you the, the the crew don't really know what's going on why they even on the sub when nobody else want to be on the sub so it's i like that aspect because it's it, it leave you hanging in a good way you, you try to figure out why are these guys here you know it's anyone in their right mind would not want to be in a submarine it's the the, the last place you want to be in you know especially in war or or non war uh, in, in non in peace time so I thought that was interesting, and then I also liked the uh, the captain. I thought he was really, he's a really genuine uh, uh, character. He he seemed like he's um not <clears throat> he's not like a, a, a radical Russian or a radical communist or a radical a uh, patriotic uh, Russian. He's more of you know an average Joe, an average Russian who you know. Who like to drink, like to have a good time, like to have you know friends and have a good meal. You can sort of tell that this is a glimpse of uh, of you know normal normal Russians uh, operate not operating but normal Russians just living their life, doing their job and doing their duties and being a profession. You know, despite of the you know hurrah for the state. You know, for that that's that kind of for the state and for Mother Russia and all that. It doesn't really have that here. And I, I like that it's more of these are just a, not average Joe, but these are, you know, sailors and, you know, mar um, guys who are just wanna make a living, wanna get out get out of the navy for for that fact so they can live out their life, have kids, get married, you know, you so it's sort of almost the same as the American when you think about it. Like kids, they're just people who want to earn money, do a living, you know, and get out, you know. So I thought that was really interesting to really see, you know, this. And then and then even the captain say, hey, you know, the, the, the American don't want us dead because they have self-preservation, meaning that there's no need to destroy other. If if we destroy other, then it will be destroying us, you know. So I thought that was really interesting that the captain even said that in there. So I was like, wow, that is really, really good. I like that because it's, it, it shows that this captain is really intelligent. He's really intelligent and he's just not going to go out and make stupid mistakes that will risk his crew, you know, and I like that. And then what I also like is I like the the, the end, you know, the, the, the uh, 
I would say the psychological and the physical battle uh, inside the crew. You know, he's being you know held hostage. You know, by the, the section of KGB. I think it was like NSA. It's not NSA or S and uh, GCSA or something like. I don't know. It's a part of like the government, the secret government, not the KGB, but like something else. And he's being held, and then, and then he, they all being held here. Like we gotta play this game. We have to outmaneuver this guy. We have to take him out, or they're gonna, you know, release the nuke. You know, so look, was, I thought that was really interesting. The battle, how you know, there's losses, is then there's gain. I thought that was really interesting. And then what else did I like? I like the ending because like the ending, you sort of don't know if they live or die, but you know that they're they die, that they dead because it's. it's it's an old ship, and it's leaking gas, and they are in the bottom, I would say in the bottom, of the, not the bottom of the ocean, but then just floating in the ocean. So I thought that was very interesting. You see their kind of said their spiritual, or the, 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 rep, their, the spirit on them, or the, the, the representation of them. I would say the soul, or the spirit, because I, you know, I'm Asian, and I, uh, we, um, but that's my, uh, we have a different view of, of, of life and on the world. So, beside that, I thought that was really interesting to see that. So let's talk about the con that I don't like. The con is that I sort of, used to, I sort of see this kind of like mutiny that sort of happened in another movie, you know. The, uh, the, the, the crew will, mute, uh, will you know, try to overthrow the, the captain, say the captain didn't do uh, the right thing. But I understand, you, that's the truth, not the trope, but that's kind of the, the story I've seen before. But the, here they, they make it a little twist, not a twist, but it is based on a true event. Is that these Russian or the, 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 the crew, the submarine crew, were trying to prevent a nuclear disaster. And I saw, I'm like, man, I like that, I really do. Because it gives a, 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 the Russians some humanity, that they're not just all bad Russian or all patriotic. Patri patriotic and all for the state and all for the KGB and all that stuff, you know, is normal guys, they try to make a living, but they, 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 they do, they, they want to do good job for their, their country. Certainly they want to do that, but would they want to kill a whole nation? No, they don't, you know, they, 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 they a nation of innocent people that have never fired upon them. So it's really interesting to really see how Especially the captain and the second command really have the conversation. You really have to listen and pick at it. So those are the, the con. Uh, what else? Uh, I wish that the captain would have shoot out, would have put the the uh, the the bad guy in the tube and shoot him out. I thought that would have been a more uh, a more visceral, not visceral, but a more like. You know, it was set an example for all the other guy that was with him. It's like, if you guy ever cross me again, I'm gonna just shoot you out of the the, the, the tube and it's just send it, send you guy out. And then does that's the, the I wish that would have happened. What else? Uh, yeah, that's 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 the con, guys. So what would the rating I give this movie, guys? I give it a, a six out of ten. I really enjoyed it. It's uh, I like the. The, the structure, how the uh, how the submarine operate, the how the, the, the terminology, the, the psychological and physical battle between the two, uh, I wouldn't say fashion, but the two different groups on the submarine. I thought that was really interesting. You know, it kind of it gives that tr uh, it gives drama and it, it gives obstacle for both parties, to, and you get to try to see who will win, who will come out top. So I like that a lot here. But it doesn't quite achieve well in the aspect of really showing us a, a, a submarine maneuver from the outside. That would have been more interesting to really see how a uh, submarine would maneuver, what would they do. You get to see a little bit, but not a lot. So those are kind of the thing I didn't quite like about this movie. And this movie is kind of slow paced. It really is slow paced. And you have to be patient, guys. You have to because this is a submarine. You're in the ocean with these crew. So you have to put the, yourself in them in their shoes. How will you feel when you're in the submarine at depth, you know?
So, 6 out of 10, I say go out, watch it on HBO Max. I think you might like this movie. I think it's really good. It, it really show a different side of the Russian, the military Russian, you know, apart from the KGBs and apart from the secret service, the, the dark secret service of the, the Russian. This is just straight up the, the pure navies and the, you know, the navies. So, 6 out of 10, guys. Please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe, and browse to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of content for you guys to check out. Please do so. Thank you so much and take care, guys. Bye-bye.